Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and here we have the Ganzo Adamanti Samson Folding Dagger. And it is an incredibly fast deploying knife. Um, the, the fastest deploying knife, actually, even faster than an automatic. And we are going to get into why here in just a second. But first, just its regular action, because it is a manual knife. This is not an automatic it has a regular flipping action, but it is a very clean breaking action. Very, very smooth. It does right on ceramic caged bearings with a ceramic detent. And when you pull down on this side of the flipper tab, such a clean break. It flies open very reliably. Nice, comfortable flipper. Yeah, it feels very good. Now, the way you would rapidly deploy it is while it's in the pocket, when you're pulling it out, this side of the flipper tab will grab onto your pocket and you can continue yanking and it will deploy the blade. Now, when you're doing that, you could do it very easily. Like, you know, all you have to do is leverage the, the blade towards the side of your pocket. But if you don't want to do that, you can easily just take it out of your pocket like a regular knife and then deploy it you know manually so you don't have to rapidly deploy it if it's in your pocket you can choose to but in a moment's notice you can easily rapidly deploy it and get it opened up so by the time it's out of your pocket it's already deployed very rapid deploying action basically any other folder that you have to take out of your pocket you're gonna have to push a button or deploy after it's out of your pocket. This will already be opened up, similar to taking out a fixed blade. Now, there are other knives that do have the wave feature, like the Emerson. I think Emerson's the one who actually uh, coined the term, the wave feature, and they started doing it on their knives where they have a little wave on the blade so you can rapidly deploy their knives so this isn't anything new it has been done for a long time and a lot of other knives do it as well but this is in a folding dagger that works extremely well d2 steel and it's not a it's not a double edged dagger it is only a single edge dagger so only this part is sharp the spine right here is not, but it is thin enough that if you wanted to, you could sharpen it. However, that's not a good idea because part of it does hang out right here and you don't want a sharp edge hanging out right there. If you were going to do it at all, you could just do the tip, but I would say just leave it alone because most places don't allow double-edged daggers, but it does depend on where you live. Access to the lock bar. Very nice access, very comfortable disengagement, and extremely smooth on the drop. It's amazing how clean this detent is and how smooth this action is. The G10, extremely grippy in the hand, even under wet conditions, which I actually did have it outside in wet conditions. It's very grippy. It's not going to get ripped out of your, or it's going to be very difficult to rip out of your hand. Um, you have a lot of control, whether it's wet, greasy, or anything. This is very, very aggressive. Now, that also makes it a problem with the clip. The clip is very tight. It is a steel clip, steel backspacer, steel liner. Even though it does have a steel um, steel lock bar insert similar to what's on a titanium frame lock. We'll talk about that here in a second. But the clip is on this grip of G10. So it is a little rough pulling it in and out of the pocket under the clip. But it's not that bad, and I did do it over and over and over, and it wasn't too bad on my pockets, but it is something that could wear your pockets over time. Now, back to the liner lock really quick. So this is a, a steel liner lock, but it has a steel lock bar insert similar to what you expect on a titanium liner lock or a titanium frame lock where they put a steel lock bar insert so that it's steel on steel contact. Why would they do that when this is already steel? Well, it's to make the, the contact point a hardened steel on hardened steel because this is D2 tool steel, which is hardened. So, so it's not on a soft liner lock 
They put a hardened steel lock bar insert in there, probably with a little bit better steel quality. At the very least, it's hardened to a point to where it's gonna be hardened steel on hardened steel, which is nice. The lock up, rock solid, no play any directions. We have an internal stop pin. You probably can't see it, but it is in there. That is going to help with side to side play. It is perfectly centered and we have a hidden lanyard back here. So if you do like lanyards, you have a lanyard and it's in a good placement. Um, I would say when you're flipping it though, you could push the lanyard up and around here and it could block the blade from deploying. So, you know, in the inside, there is heavy milling on the steel liners. That's to bring down the weight. Now the, the handle has this uh, round butt end, which is nice and comfortable in the hand. Um, but this is more of a self-defense knife, you know, and when I say self-defense, it doesn't necessarily have to always be against a human, you know, it can be an animal attack, it can be even, you know, cutting a rope or something wrapped around your neck or seat belts, um, there's lots of different things, whatever you can think of that where a knife might be handy to save your life or somebody else's, you know, so now... With it as a self-defense knife, yes, it's a it's a great shape and everything, but for everyday carry purposes, not the best shape or grind. This, not that the shape is so bad, but it's the grind. The way a dagger's grind is does not work out that great for EDC. Now that's not saying it won't be super effective and that you can't cut with it great. Um, it's gonna stab really good. You can still cut with it. It still does have a sharp edge. So cutting into things or breaking things down or cutting things apart, it's still gonna be just fine. And you know, you'll have no problem using it as a tool. However, a lot of other knives with a different grind will work out better for sure, because the thickness, the thickest part of the knife, the spine, which is actually right here, is also the center of the blade with a dagger. So from here to here, it has to get down to the thinnest part of the edge. So the geometry for passing through materials and cutting is going to be very bad. It's not gonna be great compared to other knives that have better geometry. So for slicing and cutting, it does not have good geometry. Now it has great geometry for puncturing and, you know, you can do saw-like cutting to pass through things, but um, it's, just, it's just not the best for slicing. However, it still is just fine if you're not using your knife for work or if you're not really doing a lot of cutting with your knife and you're just getting by with it, you know, doing you know, cutting something here, cutting something there. This will be just fine. Um, I did stab through some stuff and the tip is still pretty uh, good. I don't see too much de deformation or anything. The grind is relatively even. The edge bevel's a little off from one side to the other. Not that big of a deal. I don't like where the plunge grind lands. I do wish that they would have separated that from the edge because when you resharpen it, when you remove steel, it is going to be ugly down here because it's going to hit the plunge grind. So um, you're not going to want to hold it like this too much. Um, you can, but you do have this poking into you. So as long as you're just getting by with something quick, it's fine. You're mostly going to be using it like this or like this, you know, or obviously in a, in a reverse grip in, <laughs> if you're in that scenario. But yeah, the, when you have the guard, even though it is functional as a wave, as a guard, it blocks you from using, you know, a knife like a tool. So, but... Awesome, awesome knife. Um, I do think it's cool. Um, and, you know, like I said, it does have extremely rapid deployment, which works great. The fit and finish is really good on it, um, especially for the price. This is so affordable. This is like one of the most affordable knives um, that you can get of this build quality and this, just this brand period. Ganzo and Adamanti. Ganzo makes these for Adamanti, but Ganzo period, they make some of the, the, the best knives for your buck, like the best bang for your buck 
is probably Ganzo. You can get some of the best fit, finish, action, detents, reliability uh, from Ganzo. Now, their heat treat, eh, you know, it's okay. It's not horrible. It's okay. You do get what you pay for when we're talking about heat treats. So don't expect your edge retention to be amazing, but it's still going to be okay especially for the money. It's a lot better than what you can get from other companies for the same amount of money. So very smooth on the drop, drop shutty action. Um, and you can always go like this. When you deploy, you can push it around. That works great. It doesn't work great as like a top flip or anything. You can roll it if you do that. But I did try to like flick it and stuff. Your, your hand just kind of gets in the way. And then you have this one over here coming in you know right there so you can roll it or just flick it naturally or do the rapid deployment but there you guys go just a quick look at this guy i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace